Hi, William Owen here. So, the reason I haven't made as many videos lately is this game. Queen's Wish The Conqueror. It's a game made by the living legend Jeff Vogel from Spiderweb Software and it was released in 2019 on Steam, PC and even mobile, which is the version I've played. So yeah, yeah, I know I'm late to the party. But anyway, Queen's Wish is an indie CRPG in the vein of Baldur's Gate and the likes. Don't get fooled by the minimalistic graphics. The quality of the writing makes it up for it. I completely forgot how the game looked once I was enthralled in the story, which is full of political intrigue, monsters and magic. Seriously, it made me realize how much more I value writing over the story. Now don't worry, I won't spoil the story outside of what's happening in the very beginning, and the same goes for the footage you're seeing. I just started a new game and recorded it for the video. Okay, the story. You're the son of Queen Sharon, and you have been spending your whole life in luxury without much to do. One day, she decides you need to see the world and prove yourself. So she is sending you to reclaim a lost colony called Sacramentum. Sacramentum was lost years ago because of what they call the Calamity. So anyway, you're getting thrown in a magic portal to that place and can't come back until you fulfilled your mission to persuade the rebellious vassals to pledge allegiance to the queen once again. I won't go deeper in the story, but trust me, there's a lot more to it than it seems. Now. Just a quick note on the graphics and sound. Well, you've seen the graphics, but seriously, the writing is making up for it. As for the sound, well, there's new music, only sound effects. Here, listen. So, superb writing and story, minimalistic graphics and sound. What about the mechanics then? Well, I'm glad you asked. Full disclaimer here, while I enjoy those types of games, I really suck at them. And so I've played on casual difficulty. It took me a little over 30 hours to get through it, and I know I skipped a few things. Plus, there's a bunch of different endings and choices you can make during your adventure. So for completionists out there, I believe you can get close to a hundred hours of gameplay here. With that said, I will say there's a lot to do in Queen's Wish. You get on Sacramentum without much, but some of your soldiers and leaders are still there. So you'll have to rebuild your forts where you can choose what type of shops to put in. It goes from the blacksmith to an alchemy shop and even some cosmetic stuff. Each of those shops will give you some advantages like more inventory space, better damage numbers in combat and so on. The building aspect doesn't take much of your time though, it's pretty straightforward. As for the combat, it's turn-based, uh, very old school, you can see it on the screen right now. I don't have much to say really. Uh, you buff, debuff, attack with melee and ranged weapons. You also uh, have magic casters and healers. Of course, if you want them, as you create your own party the way you want. Now just a few uh, quick points. Uh, you can respec your characters for free anytime uh, in one of your forts. It's easy and it's fun to be able to experiment without consequences. Combat doesn't give XP. Completing quests is what is making you level up. 
It was weird at first, but I think that the idea was to remove the grinding aspect, and while I think I prefer getting XP from combat, it was a nice change of pace. There's always more than one way to solve an issue. Sometimes you can just talk it out, or side with whichever sides of a conflict you choose to. Be as nice or evil as you want. The game will react to all of your choices. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I really enjoyed my playthrough of Queen's Wish The Conqueror. Though I don't feel like a live playthrough would be that interesting since it would be mostly me reading text. Well, you see, I can explain. It's just that it's, it is very simple. It's just... Also, when you finish the game, you get a code that you'll be able to enter at the start of Queen's Wish 2, which is already released on Steam and that is coming on mobile soon. But that said, I'll keep the code for me. I wouldn't want anyone to know what I did in Sacramento. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye bye. <laughs>